we're actually going to start off by solving the mysteries in Stormwind. But this is the article from Out of Cards that we're using to help uh, knock this out. So, essentially what they've done, a bunch of people work together, solve the mysteries um, a lot swifter than last time, I believe. But, uh, and there are only two stages this time. But for the first stage, just like last time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into modes, solo, uh, yeah, solo adventures, and we're going to play a deck that contains specific cards. In this case, we need to play Oracle of Elune and cast Moonfire on her. So we're just gonna go into a practice match versus the innkeeper uh, and grab the right deck. So stage one is draw Oracle of the Moon. Uh, this is just a deck we put together with Oracle of a Loon, Moonfire, and a lot of card draw. Now you can generate, uh, she's an epic card that not everybody will have. There are a number of ways you can generate Oracle of a Loon across the course of a game, but a bit of a challenge. Editor chop. So as the gameplay against the innkeeper continues in the background, let me jump in to note a few of the ways you can get Oracle of Loon if you don't have her. As the fights against the innkeeper default to wild, the discovery pool is quite large, so it'll be a challenge if you do go this route. But courtesy of El Sabidon, in the comments of the article which we use to solve this, as noted, the article is linked down below uh, alongside the deck codes we used. Here are a few suggestions to potentially generate her. Raven Idol, which includes neutral minions, so it has a pretty low chance. Crystal Song Portal, which discovers druid minions, so it has a little bit of a better chance. And Jeweled Scarab, which discovers three cost minions, but includes neutral, so it has a mix of more and less targeted minions. You can play Resizing Pouch when you have four mana, or better yet, Solar Eclipse into Resizing Pouch when you have six mana, for two chances to discover a three cost card. I wouldn't count on Grifta, but if you have him, tossing him in won't hurt. And Archivist Elysiana, after you've drawn Moonfire, will give you 15 chances that are slim, but possible to get her. Though again, the discovery chances are relatively low, so it may take quite some time to get her, even if you run all these cards. One thing I will note about this is that when many of the card backs became purchasable with gold, they cost either 500 or 600 gold. This one is probably on par with a 600 gold card, and if you roughly equate 100 gold to 100 dust, Oracle costs about 400 gold to craft. The other cards required for the achievement are free from the core set and common, so crafting Oracle of Loon is like a 200 gold discount to craft and get the card back after jumping through a fair number of hoops. And you will have her as a minion to use afterwards as well. Something to consider if you're on the fence about crafting her to save time on this. Okay, now back to the walkthrough. Come on, move! There it is. Okay, next turn we're good to go. Oh man, like, my natural gameplay instinct is, oh, there's a one health minion out there. We have a Moonfire, we can just cast on it. But no, for the sake of the, um, achievement. Whenever you go against the innkeeper, they go face? Really? On, on normal, not on hard? All right, Oracle of Loon and Moonfire on her. And we got it. Okay, so we're in the puzzle now. Um, and... So I, I'm guessing this is the portal, and this is the hero power. Now as um, the article explains, so the general gist of the puzzle is that we are inside of a maze, and when you move through it, you either take a portal or you don't turn around. If you go through a portal, it removes one health from it. So in this case, you know, we only have one health on it. Um, if the portal dies, the whole maze resets. Your hero power makes you do a 180 degree turn inside the maze. 
Start the puzzle by attacking your Oracle of Loon with Moonfire, which is what we did. Uh, and then here's the solution step by step. Now, we could just follow this and click next step, next step, next step. Or we can click this thing. Thank heavens somebody actually took the time to write this out. It's 231 steps. You only play on hard. Okay, that makes sense. Um, it's 231 steps in order to knock this out. Thankfully, somebody took the time to write out every single step. And HS, or not HS Replay, uh, Out of Cards made this to where we can actually check the boxes. And I went ahead and set up an interface so that you guys can see this, uh, what, I'm, what I'm checking off, so that you can follow along uh, on the steps and everything. But uh, I'm going to be jumping back and forth between uh, checking this off, doing every single freaking um, step. So 231 steps. Let's get into it. All right, attack the minion in front of you. Step one done. Uh, attack the minion to the left. OK. And then we use our hero power. So we turned around. Um, and then attack the minion to the right. Attack the minion to the right. That's not a valid target. I can't do that. There is no minion to the right. Use your hero power. I'm gonna. Assume that's still okay. Attack the minion to the right. See, this makes sense. Attack the minion to the right. And then attack the minion in front of you. Attack the minion to the right. Attack the minion in front of you. Attack the minion to the left. Which... I mean, so these are immune. Oh gosh. Um, use your hero power. So yeah, obviously we, we wouldn't be able to attack. Minion to the left. Hero power. Minion to the left. In front. To the right. Hero power. Okay, minion to the right. Hero power. Minion to the right. Hero power. Right. <laughs> minion in front of me. And hero power. In front and hero power. In front and hero power. Good <laughs> lord, this is so long. And we're only 30 or 29 steps in. Okay. In front and to the right. To the right. <laughs> and then in front. And to the right. And hero power. Yep. Completely can't move. Okay. Uh, minion to the left. And in front. And then left again. And hero power. Minion to the right. <laughs> And in front, and to the right, and yeah, no choice but to hero power. And to the left, in front, and to the left again, <laughs> and hero power. <laughs> 
This is so long. <laughs> to the left. And hero power. Okay, that was a quicker hero power. Uh, to the left. And then hero power. And then to the left again. And there's something in front of me. Yeah. And we turn around. And attack. And turn around again. It's like, nope. Uh, in front. And hero power. Yeah, no choice. In front. And to the left. And in front. And to the right. And hero power. And to the right. Thank heavens someone took the time to write all this out. I almost attacked the wrong one. <laughs> in front. And to the left. Just got on. What are you doing? So. A loon. Gift of a loon card back that looks quite cool. Uh, okay. So, we attacked the minion to the left, and now we're going to hero power. And so, I've got it windowed so you guys can follow along too, though it's probably quite small for most of you. Okay. So, we... Okay, you guys are going to have to tell me, did I just use my hero power as the last move and it's time to attack the minion on the left? I believe it is. I'm 90% sure the last thing we did was use our hero power. <laughs> um, so I'm going to attack the minion on the left. Alright, and turn around. Yep, yeah. okay, it looks like we're alright. Minion to the left. And hero power. And then minion to the left. And minion in front of us. And minion to the left. And in front. And then there's a minion to the right. <laughs> uh, and then in front. And to the right. This is insane! In front of you. And to the left. And then we turn around. Because, yeah, we wouldn't be able to proceed. <laughs> Alright, 81 steps down, only like a hundred and some ridiculous number left. Okay. To the right. And turn around. To the left. <laughs> and hero power. Left. Front. Left. Hero power. <laughs> left. Front. Left. Front again. Oh, so many minions. And to the right. And then the hero power. <laughs> to the right. And front. Hero power. Alright, in front. And to the right. 100 steps down of 231! <laughs> to the right! <sighs> like, the amount of time it must have taken to solve this. Um, like, I, I have nothing but respect um, oops. Yeah, okay. um, for the people who take the time to figure this out, and also the people I'm gonna turn around. Yeah. Uh, the people who.
create this. Um, <laughs> but also, there are so many steps in this that without a checkbox like this or something uh, to help follow along, like, I, I'm almost messing up because I'm chatting while doing it. Um, fortunately, there is the log to help keep track uh, to an extent. But, um, yeah. <laughs> um, so without something like this, I would, especially while while attempting to um, talk and do it at the same time, I would totally mess it up. But fortunately with instructions and with this nice thank you out of cards um, little checklist we can um, most likely knock it out in the first try Sometimes it's obvious that you have to use your hero power because there's no option but uh, to hero power. But, um, which must have helped in solving this. But, um, yeah, no, I have nothing but respect for the people who actually took the time to figure this all out. Um, left, hero power. Left. <laughs> Attack the minion in front, and then to the right. And turn around. And then to the right. And turn around. <laughs> like, fortunately, when it is this way, it should just be a matter of following the instructions. So it's just how good can you actually follow the instructions and not lose track? Hopefully, the introduction of this checklist um, means... We don't mess it up. I think we're doing pretty good thus far. We probably would have run into something if um, we did skip a step or something. Alright. Hero power, yeah, no choice but to hero power. And then the left. So, um, also another thing when people were solving this is that um, you never want to take something down to zero. Uh, so that's also an indicator to help you know that, yeah, no, we don't worry, we want to turn around. Um, if there's only the option. Oh, bonjour, Moraine! Hope you're doing well today! <laughs> so, um... We are taking the 231 steps to solve the very first, um... Ah, the mystery. Have you already finished it? So, to finish the mystery achievement. Uh, thank heavens. People, one, solved it, and two, wrote out this extremely kind guide 
on out of cars and I'm sure another or a number of other sites as well. Um, no, but downloaded the Excel document. Okay. So uh, this article I've linked a couple times now. I'll link it again. So that's a very nice feature uh, in their guide that we are making full use of and is actually allowing me to do this while streaming uh, and keeping track of conversation. So, because otherwise we would totally end up having to restart like three or four times. <laughs> this is insane. To the left. Ah. Uh, 231 steps. That's insane. And turn around. <laughs> ah. To the left. Now I think actually um the next step because we're going to basically cheat and, or well, not cheat. We're using the resources available thanks to the community. Um, that we're going to um, be able to plug in information. And as long as I understand the information properly. Um, okay, we just attacked. Yep. Your power. And then to the left. So as long as we're using the information correctly. T totally not worth bothering to do it? Really? Uh, well, oh, because you don't have Oracle of Loon. Now you can generate the Oracle of Loon uh, across the course of the game. Um, okay, we hear about our last, yep. I mean to the right. Um, so over the course of the game with a number of different cards. Uh, but... Yes, uh, that's concentrate. <laughs> what, you don't want me to restart uh, now that I'm almost to 200? So hero power and then attack the minion in front. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to spend like an hour, hour and a half on this uh, if we can avoid it. Left. But the checklist is helping a massive amount. Um, without this checklist, I probably would have restarted like three or four times already. <laughs> yeah. uh, holding back some news that would distract you, so wait. Oh, okay. Well, we're almost done. We've got like 30 steps left. Attack the minion in front. And then yeah, we'll pause and let, let you share some news. Hero power, minion in front, and to the right, and then minion in front. See, this is a good point to pause. Oh wait, no. Um, because normally it's obvious that you need to use your hero power a lot of times, but no, it's not as obvious. Right now, at least. So, no, I can't read what Biss wrote just a moment ago. Um, use your hero power. Minion in front. <gasps> Minion to the right. And hero power. Okay, here's a hero power where I can actually pause and not have to worry about it. Uh, when I saw the Celestion tweet about the gift of a loon. I was expecting priest, not druid due to Tyrande. That does make sense, actually. Uh, but Malfurion in love with Tyrande. Um, all right. So fair enough. Um, attack the minion to the right. <laughs> Hero power. Left. Hero power. To the right. In front. Turn around. In front. And hero power. 
<gasps> Look, there's the last of the list. Okay, we just hero powered. Yep. In front. And to the left. And then hero power. And to the left. And hero power. To the right. Oh my gosh. And voila! <laughs> we can follow instructions. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Moraine, you said you had news that would distract me. <laughs> oh, tier one done. <laughs> yes, okay, good, good, good. Whew, let's go ahead and uh, collect that. Okay, onward to mystery number two. Um, and so there are two stages to this puzzle. Uh, of course, we need to go into the modes again. Everybody's trying to find solo adventures. It's under modes now. We'll face off against, sure. Uh, this one is Lunar Dreams. And gonna go ahead and face a priest this time instead. Why not? Killing priests. <laughs> <laughs> you only use it on priest. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so, again, we're trying to draw uh, and get to our Ysera the Dreamer and Lunar Eclipse. Wait a second. I may have messed this up on the building stage. Create a deck which contains Ysera the Dreamer and Lunar Eclipse. Start the puzzle by attacking your Ysera the Dreamer with your Lunar Eclipse. Do you have to play Ysera on the same turn? Or does Ysera... In which case we would have had to discount Ysera? Let's play through. Play Ysera on the board. Help her... You'll need Innervator the coin. But old puzzles, if you played extra cards, you had an issue. Um... Let's test it this way and see if playing Ysera a turn before is possible because I do not have a way to discount Ysera in hand or a way to... Uh, I don't have an innervate or coin or something uh, that was here so probably less. Um, okay, we have the cards we need. So let's ramp, like mad. Now, unlike normal priests, um, innkeeper priest actually plays a fair bit of board-based minions and such. But you're going against a real no, no, no. Uh, this is the this is the innkeeper. Um, oh, you guys can't see that, can you? Um, no, this is obviously uh, real players would not be playing these cards. Um, All right, we're at one turn away from being able to play Ysera the Dreamer. However, we also need Ysera to survive. We can play a Lunar Eclipse. And have some board presence. Have some more board presence. And might as well get some armor less armor than we could have, but whatever. Okay. So, um, we're gonna play Ysera the Dreamer next turn, and then Lunar Eclipse the following turn to see if it all has to be on the same turn, or if we can do it across two turns. Uh, if it has to all be on the same turn, then we're gonna need to revamp the deck with, um, an Innervade or something. Uh, Lightning Bloom should also be fine, if that works. So let's find out. Uh, it's four health, which means priest can't use their normal stuff. Who cares if we mail a card? We've got space for the mystery thing. Need code this deck? Okay. Um, if it works, let's find out. It does. Okay. Okay. 
That's a lot of minions and stats. Okay, so it does work. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and give the, share the code. I didn't want to share the code if it didn't work. Um, so this is a really simple, really basic deck that we're using. Export. Good luck with the next Excel tables. You'll need MIT <laughs> PhD pools. You would. If not, for Out of Cards being amazing, the people on at Out of Cards being amazing to help figure this out, because yes, this is insane. Holy cow. Um, and yes, this would have taken forever, if not for, they explain a little bit behind how it was solved and much easier, much quicker than originally expected. But, all right, gonna go ahead and read through this. Um, Solution for stage one is going to be different for everyone. Uh, this is not the case for stage two. Boards reset every 12 hours. We're not gonna take 12 hours. We did it, we did. Uh, so yeah, you can play Ysera the Dreamer and then the following turn play Lunar Eclipse on her. Um, that's fine. So uh, resets every 12 hours. So if you take too long to complete the second mystery, uh, you're gonna have to restart over. Make a mistake, you have to start over. Uh, you, which I don't know if start over means you actually you know, I don't know. Uh, if that means you actually have to refight the innkeeper or if it just goes back. Who knows? Oh gosh, I hope not. <laughs> um, if you make a mistake, you have to start over. If you make, or you make progress by playing cards from your hand on the question mark uh, card on the field. Start puzzle by attacking your Ysera. Oh yeah, which we did. Okay. So each card in your hand represents a tribe in Hearthstone and a number. Uh, so demons. These numbers match the position of the card in your hand. So I'm assuming, even though this is Murlocs, this is demons number one. I could be wrong about this. That, th like reading through this yesterday uh, in preparation for this, I was thoroughly confused because this is Murlocs, this is an all, this is a Quillbore, a dragon, pirates, beasts, elementals, mechs, and demons. So the question is, is it strictly uh, this number that um, is showing up on here. Demons are actually position one, all that stuff, or what? I, I I don't honestly know, but I'm gonna try and fumble my way through it, and we'll find out. Uh, because they've got this little list here, but we seem to have a different order than they explain there, uh, based on the artwork. Um, so, Borgen contains minions on your opponent's side and yours. Minions on your side of the board indicate what you will need to do for the step. So we've got this, and we've got this. Okay. Um, so both minions on your side of the board, aside from the 0-1, minion match minions on the opposite side. The left side minion on your side of the board indicates the start of the sequence, the right side uh, of the board indicates the stop of the sequence. We play cards from our hand uh, onto the question mark minion to make solves in order. Uh, we'll refer to the setup <laughs> as the minion sequence down below. Uh, this is all the minions. So they explain all of this uh, and how it all works, but what's really awesome, and then they, they explain stage two. What's really awesome is that Out of Cards has this amazing calculator that will hopefully help us solve this. Uh, so I'm going to uh, enter the seven minions from the opponent's board into this calculator. So attack, six, four, one, and health, three, Four, nine, and it is a an elemental. Oh, I was about to say demon, but no, that's a demon. 
Uh, so it's an elemental. Okay. And then uh, minion two is eight, four, five. And its health has seven, seven, six. <laughs> this is insane. And this is obviously a dragon. Um, dragons. Okay. And then minion three is six, four, eight. Can we tab? Oh, we can tab. And then five, nine, one. And this is a pirate. Confirm. Yeah, so it matches. Okay. Uh, minion number three, or minion number four, seven, five, two, and eight, three, two. And it is indeed a demon. All right. Ah. Minion five, Finley, eight, four, nine, and six, two, eight is a murloc. Hmm. Murlocs. Okay, perhaps MIT was too modest. Let me phone this situation room in the White House. <laughs> uh, thank heavens for people who make, uh, or simplify it for the rest of us who don't want to spend five to 10 hours fumbling our way through this. No, wait, we've already had a demon. Okay. Huh. And then we have another pirate, too. All right. Assuming that's not a problem. Uh, eight and seven, five, nine and pirate. All right, confirming. So six, four, one, three, four, nine elemental. Uh, eight, four, five, seven, seven, six, dragon, six, four, eight, five, nine, one, pirate, seven, five, two, eight, three, two, demon, eight, four, nine, six, two, eight, murloc, um, eight, eight, two, five, six, one, demon, oh my gosh, this is insane. Um, and then eight, seven, five, nine, and pirates. Yes. All right. Your left minion matches which position on your opponent's board? Uh, our left minion matches number one, and your right minion matches which uh, position on your opponent's board? The right position. Okay. So that was simple. Um, and then, so my sequence, What? <laughs> Play cards from your hand in the order below. Play demons from your hand. Wait, tribe 2-1. I'm assuming this has been updated. So we have two dragons. But anyways, so position one relates to demons, position, I guess, 10, relates to murlocs. Wait, 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 wait. Demons, mechs, <gasps> elementals, never mind, never mind, never mind. Beasts, pirates, dragons, quill boars, totems, oh, I'm an idiot. Uh, all and murlocs. Never mind. I was thinking drawn, like most recently drawn. Position one. <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, so artwork matches the meaning. All right. So the sequence. Uh, I'm assuming this sequence edited or updated for us. So play demons from hand. Play dragons from hand.
Play all from hand. Play beasts from hand. Play pirates from hand. Play mechs from hand. Play dragons from hand. Okay, that was stage one. Took a while for me to wrap my head around it. We're not even using Excel spreadsheets. We're using the cheat calculator thing. And yeah, it took me a while to wrap my head and, and understand even the guide. Uh, we did it. Indeed, we did. Okay. Step four, community sequences. Uh, so these are the same for everyone. Play cards from your hand in the order below. Uh, sequence one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, so this one should just be straightforward. Um, literally, as long as we follow these seven times five, 35 steps in order correctly, we should be good. We don't have a checklist, <laughs> but we should be able to keep track of seven things. Um, you see each position translates into a digit on the minion, starting with health, then attack. <laughs> I take your word for it. Um, I read through and yeah, it made as about as much sense as mud to me. Playing card one writes number one on the minion. Oh, interesting. I wasn't paying attention, but yeah, we can, or I can go back, or we can go back and look at the VOD uh, for that to confirm. But yeah, I, I believe you. <laughs> cool. Um, okay, so we're we're just gonna follow the instructions from the site. Uh, mechs from hand, all from hand. Ah, you're right. Um, demons from hand. We can see it on this stage too. Uh, elementals from hand. Okay. Uh, all from hand. Got it, got it, got it. All from hand. And quill bores from hand. Um, so. 319. Is it to match something here? No, I have no idea. Okay, well, anyways. Uh, last one, Quilbor from hand. Because I realized it was going to reshuffle after sequence one was done. I kind of wanted to see, but yeah. So it's, it's adding that number. Okay, that makes sense. But what is that number supposed to be matching? Uh, that I'm curious. Um, and I have no idea. Okay. Play Quilbors from hand. But it does make sense now. Yes, it should match the enemy's stats. Oh, total stats or something from the enemy side of the board? Because um, there's not an opposing quill bore um, for stage two. So yeah, I don't know. Dragons from hand. Um, Murlocs. Um, pirates. Mechs. Demons. One of the enemy's minions, I guess. 506, 506. There's nothing that's 506 on the enemy side of the board, though, for attack. Uh, and then... Totems. Good guess. Um, I think they, they explained that because of how long it was supposed to take, there's something um, like that you, you were supposed to have to coordinate among the community to figure it all out, um, that there's maybe specific minions that you're supposed to match with. Why are all your minions sleeping? Because they're lazy. All right. Sequence number three, mechs, 
And then elementals. And then quill bores. And then mechs. And then elementals. Pirates. And totems. Minions need their beauty sleep. Indeed they do. <laughs> Alright, this is sequence number four. Dragons. Demons. All. Murlocs. Totems. Beasts. And all. They're bored by all these numbers. They want to fight. They will have an opportunity to fight soon. Though not with these stats. Good lord. These are huge minions. These are like battleground stats, not uh, standard or wild stats. <laughs> Uh, I think it would be much simpler to drop maximums in. <laughs> but there you go. Uh, okay, last sequence. So totems. Quill bores. Beasts. Quill bores. Quill bores again. Totems. And cool Boris. We killed the priest. <laughs> we did it. Indeed. Okay. Um Do I understand what I just did? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Hmm. Um, I followed instructions. And thank heavens there are people to figure this stuff out. Because... And thanks out of cards. Great help indeed, right? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So completing this should get us the card. I think. Haha. -ha. And we'll go ahead and take a screenshot of that because we're probably going to turn that into a video uh, for guide. Okay. Uh, so really cool. Actually, let's go ahead and equip that as our card back for now. Uh, instead of... I think we're random right now. Thank you, thank you, Ormac. Yeah, so we've got random set. There it is, Gift of a Loon. Haha, -ha, page two. Okay. Impressive, you remember that. Uh, or have it on the same page in your collection. Cool. Okay. It is very beautiful. Okay. So we've got that. Mystery achievement solved. <laughs> okay, that's done. And that's it this time. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to tap that like button, smash that subscribe button, and share your thoughts in the comments below. We release videos here every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Also, if you enjoy participating in Experiments Live, check out our stream at twitch.tv forward slash ssalchemist. We currently stream on Saturdays and Sundays. There's a link to our Discord server in the description as well if you'd like to check it out. And remember, you're awesome. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day.